just was the main trick was this: if you are weirder than the next person, and then you get, you know, that status of you stay out of this guy's way. And was People. that one of the reasons you started doing all the tattoos? No, no, the tattoos was actually a thing that I love. I love to tattoo. I love the 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 the, the thing that you can put on your body and it stays there. You know what I mean? I was infatuated actually by tattoos. And I went so crazy about tattoos that you had four, three, four people on me because when I was about three, four people tattooing you at the tattooing same time. me on one time, yeah, <laughs> we had that. We had that. Uh, you know, if if you get into a position that I got into, that you you've got power now, you can tell, you can say, you can do this, you, whatever. But it must be in the context of the law of the number, not not your own thing. You know what I mean? That's uh, one thing also I learned. But the number was strictly there. To manipulate other people and let them be scared of them. The Because people, is, when they hear the 28s, they get scared. Ah, uh, but of course. And if they mess with one of you, they're messing with with all of you. You know what? Um, when I look back, and then sometimes I can't believe uh, the things that I had to do. Uh, but the, back in the day, then it was in my mind that I must do it. But thinking back again, I had the choice. But I'd, you didn't have um, a room. To choose or whatever choice you had to adapt to other people's choices, so which means when the consequences came, it was by other people's choice that you had to face these consequences also, and the consequences was always so heavy, you know, because we were we were the waters when they came in and they hit us, you know, they fifty sixty waters each one of the baton, you know what I mean? Uh, it's, it's hectic. Uh, they put us into straight jackets, you know what I mean? They put us into chains. You know, they, they chain you up and, they, yeah, and put straight jackets done. on you. Yeah, I was guest. You know what I mean? Yeah. I I, I want to get back to the the tattoos though, I, because I think this is something that ident that makes you very identifiable. Yeah. Because I mean, I've known your face for a long time. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's a very recognizable face. Yes. What What was your first tattoo? My very first tattoo was actually on my on my leg. You yeah. Know what I mean? But in my face, my first tattoo was uh, uh in front of my head. He's a skeleton. He's got the oh, flute. Oh, a skeleton, yeah. He's a skeleton. He's got the flute in his mouth and he's blowing his, his death song. You know, I was so very into reading books about uh, cowboys and Indians that when the Indian sees he's going to die, he, he goes into song. He sings his death song. Now, there was a lot of, uh, of people that I read about, uh, you know, music came actually through. You get a, a death song. You get the birth song. You get the birthday song. You get all these songs for different there's occasions. A, there's a song for everything. For everything, yeah. And I just adapted to this death song, and to this guy that uh, a skeleton that was blowing a flute, and he was actually just playing the death song. So whenever the flute plays, that particular sound of flute plays, then we know there's something big. Happen. Gonna happen, yeah. you know what I mean. That was the thing. And if prisoners back in the day, if prisoners start singing, the louder they sing, the more the, the guys shouts and screams are dampened, so that the worst can hear that somebody is in danger. These guys used to sing, and they used to, uh, you know. So people used to sing when there was like fights yeah, happening like, or or like a murder or exactly, and then they used to sing, and prison echoes, a guy shouting here for his life, but. The the way we are singing, we are maybe ten, twelve, and we must sing loud. And you you can't hear the person that's, that's screaming they, for help. If they walk past you and you hear no sound out of your mouth, brother, please, you're gonna get hurt, and you're gonna get definitely hurt. You must do it. And these we are definitely that because I'm not gonna get hurt. They're gonna hurt some other motherfucker. So I will sing it at my loudest <laughs> because uh, I want yeah. to be you know I would, they don't want to be hurt like that. Any sign of we softness is a weakness in prison, and it's a pity for so many um, victims that in prison because everybody was victimized. These people uh, that are victimizing others was victimized himself. 